In this video, we have all new Redmi 13 5G smartphone. And in this video, I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks hidden feature of this smartphone. So if you're planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought it, then this can be a very useful video for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. In this smartphone, if you will try to open your control panel, then sometimes it will open your notification bar or sometimes it will open your control panel. But there's a specific area from which if you will scroll down, then it will open your notification center. So if you will swipe from the left side of the front camera, then it will open your notification bar. And if you will swipe to the right of this front camera, then it will open your control center. So keep in mind this, that's how you can open your notification bar and your control panel. In this smartphone, you can also enable this double press your power button to turn on your flashlight and again double press to turn it off. To enable this, simply open your settings, scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional settings. There you will see the option of gesture shortcuts, click on this and then click on turn on torch. By default, it is disabled, you have to enable this. Now whenever you will press double press your power button it will turn on your flashlight and if you will double press it again it will turn your flashlight off. If you want to show your real time internet speed in your status bar without downloading any third party app you can also do this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on notification and status bar again scroll down there you will see the option of show connection speed simply enable this then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar you can also lock any application in the smartphone without downloading any third party app simply open your settings scroll down and then click on apps there on the bottom you will see the option of app lock click on this now click on turn on now you have to set a privacy password you can set a pattern or you can change it to pin password or anything else so here I select pattern and then draw your pattern and then draw again your pattern and then click on next firstly you have to sign in or you can click on not now it will take few seconds then after this click on not now now select the app you want to lock for example I want to lock my Facebook and my file manager and then click on use app lock you can also set your fingerprint to unlock your locked apps otherwise click on cancel now whenever you will open your files or facebook it will ask for that privacy password as you can see here if i will open my facebook it will ask for that privacy password and after this i can open my facebook so that's how you can lock any app in this smartphone if you want to hide any app you can also do this simply open your settings then in search setting search hide and there you will see the option of hidden apps click on this it will show all the apps which are installed in your smartphone now select the app you want to hide for example i want to hide my files click on got it now if you want to access your hidden apps simply come to your home, home screen and then pinch out using your two fingers like this it will open your hidden apps so that's how you can hide and access your hidden app in this smartphone in this smartphone you can use two applications at the same time in a single screen let me show you how you can do this firstly open the first app you want to use in floating window put it in recent and now open the second application you want to use it in a single screen now open your recent app and then tap and hold on any of the app and then click on this icon split screen now select the second app that is already in the recent app and now you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen with the help of this split screen feature. There are multiple ways by which you can click a screenshot in the smartphone. You can also click a screenshot of a specific area and you can also click a long screenshot. So let me show you how you can do all these screenshot methods. The first way is to use your three fingers and scroll down and that's how you can click a screenshot. The second way is to press your volume down and power button at the same time and it will click a screenshot. Now if you want to click a screenshot of a specific area, then use your three fingers and then tap and hold on the screen. Now select the area of which you want to click a screenshot and then you can also edit it or you can select the shape of which you want to cut the screenshot and then click on, on the save button. So that's how you can click a screenshot of a specific area. So these are the ways by which you can click a normal screenshot. Now if you want to click a long screenshot, then click a normal screenshot and there you will see the option of scroll. 
now scroll down to adjust the length of the screenshot and then click on done and then click on the save icon so that's how you can click a long screenshot in the smartphone as well if you will long press your power button then it will open your google assistant app instead of your power menu if you want to change it to power menu then simply open your settings scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional settings again scroll down and then click on gesture shortcuts there you will see the option of launch google assistant on the top click on this and then disable this now if you long press your power button it will open your power menu instead of your google assistant if you want to hide your photos and videos in the smartphone you can also do this simply open your gallery then click on this plus icon you have to create an album for this name it anything and then click on ok now select the photos you want to hide for example i want to hide this one and this one and then click on this right icon and then select move now you will see on the bottom your album will be created now tap and hold on the album and then click on make private it will say hide selected albums then click on ok now you will see you will be able to see your photos here now if you want to access your hidden photos then simply click on these three dots and then click on settings there you will see the option of view hidden albums click on this and now you will be able to access your hidden photos and videos in the smartphone you can also enable that blinking flashlight feature whenever someone will call you or any notification will come to enable this simply open your settings scroll down and there you will see the option of flash notifications click on this and then select for which you want to enable this you can select your phone and you can also select for clock so if your alarm will go off then it will also show that blinking flashlight in the preview option you can also see how it will look like so that's how you can enable this flash notification feature in the smartphone this phone also comes with sidebar feature as well simply open your settings scroll down and then click on additional settings scroll down and then click on floating windows there you will see the option of sidebar by default it is disabled you have to enable this always show and now if you want to open the sidebar simply swipe from the left side of the screen and it will open your sidebar so with the help of this you can easily access your favorite apps while using your smartphone you can also edit this if you want to edit this then come to the bottom and then click on this plus icon now select the app you want to edit here you can also delete any app if you want to remove from there and then click on done now if you will open any app from the sidebar it will open in floating window so now you will be able to use your phone as usual and it will remain in the floating window just like your desktop or your computer so there's a very handy and efficient feature sidebar you can enable this to multitask in the smartphone with the help of next feature you will be able to access your camera when your screen is locked very efficiently simply open your settings scroll down then click on lock screen and there you will see the option of launch camera simply enable this now your phone is locked simply double press your volume down button and it will open your camera app if you want to open your control panel or your notification center then it feels really uncomfortable to reach at the top and open this but there is a gesture by which you can status bar and notification center to enable this simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on home screen there you will see the option of swipe down on the home screen click on this by default it is selected to search you have to select notification shade and control center now if you are on home screen then simply swipe down on the empty area to the left of the screen it will open your notification center and if you will swipe from the right of the screen it will open your control panel so you can enable this gesture to use your phone with single hand very conveniently if you want to change this three button navigation to gesture navigation you can also do this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on home screen there you will see the option of system navigation click on this by default it is selected to buttons you have to select the gesture then click on not now now if you want to go back you can swipe from the left or the right of the screen if you want to come to the home screen then simply swipe from the middle bottom and if you want to open your recent apps you can also do this simply swipe from the middle bottom and hold it for a few seconds and it will open your recent apps so that's how you can change from three button navigation to gesture navigation in the smartphone if you will open your camera app and it, if you will click any picture in this then it will show in this rectangular form not in your full screen and you will also not be able to use 
your camera app in full screen as well. So if you want to change it to full screen, then simply click on this little arrow and there you will see the option of aspect ratio. Click on this and then select full. Now you will be able to use your camera app in full screen and if you will click any photo, then it will also click in full screen. So that's how you can change the aspect ratio in the camera app of the smartphone. So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this Redmi 13 5G smartphone. If this was helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, have fun.